Hi, welcome to the session. In this session, we'll talk about how open policy agent gatekeeper can help you to strengthen your supply chain security. I'm Rita. Hello, I'm Zertaj. Uh, we are maintainers of the OPA Gatekeeper project. So uh, first you might ask, well, what is Gatekeeper? Um, well, Gatekeeper is a customizable Kubernetes emission and mutation webhook. It helps us enforce policies and strengthen governance. It enforces policies executed by the open policy agent, a policy agent for cloud native environments, and it is a CNCF graduated project. Let's see how you can leverage it to extend supply chain security and governance in your Kubernetes environment. All right, so let's uh, dive a little deeper in Gatekeeper for supply chain security. With external data feature, um, Gatekeeper can now be used for validating and mutating Kubernetes objects using the data that is coming from external data sources in a generic and pluggable way. Uh, Gatekeeper is an interface to external data sources such as image registries, um, and it is developed using a provider-based model so that the specific external data logic can be written by providers uh, outside of Gatekeeper. Now let's look at some uh, potential use cases. Uh, for validation, for example, we have uh, image signing. Uh, we can check whether an image is signed or not. Um, another example is image vulnerabilities. We can check if uh, an image of critical vulnerabilities, for example. And then on the mutation side, we can mutate an image tag to a digest, uh, so which helping us to uh, pin to a specific uh, SHA digest for, for, a, uh, for an image. And um, another example of a mutation is uh, we could use um, Active Directory or LDAP directory uh, to mutate uh, labels and or annotations to add owners, so you can tell who created the, those Kubernetes objects. Do we get to see this in action? Yes, let's do a demo. Awesome. Yeah, let's start with our demo, and uh, we're going to look at take a look at our cluster first. Uh, here you can see our uh, Gatekeeper Controller Manager and Gatekeeper Audit Pods here. And uh, let's look at our providers next. Uh, here you can see our, the, the registered providers uh, with Gatekeeper. Uh, they basically uh, map to services that are running behind these uh, deployments, such as a trivia provider or tag to digest provider. So in next, we are going to look at our um, assign uh, CRD, which is the mutation uh, CRD, uh, uh, one of the mutation CRDs for Gatekeeper. Um, so you can see that um, this, um, uh, this object uh, takes a, an image and uh, for, for all containers, and then it uses the uh, external data data source, which is value at location, which means the image is, image is value uh, by using the tag to digest provider. Uh, to mutate um, the value of the uh, image to the same um, uh, value of the image uh, appended with appended with the uh, image image digest. And in the next example, we are going to uh, take a look at the um, the um, the deployment file. Uh, here you can see uh, the tag. Which, which does not have uh, contain a, a SHA. And here is the, the one uh, with the digest already included. So we should see the first one to mutate while the second one does not get uh, mutated. So let's go ahead and deploy uh, our uh, deployment. And then let's uh, take a look at uh, the object. As I mentioned earlier, we could see that the first um, container got mutated with the digest, while second one still has the uh, same digest. Very cool. And then the next one uh, we want to take a look at is the cosine provider. Uh, cosine provider is a validation-based uh, provider where um, we can check the uh, if an if a container image uh, is is signed or not using the cosine. 
uh, project in SIGSTOR. And um, this is our um, gatekeeper constraint template uh, where we pass the uh, container image to the external data source. And we basically check the response from the, um, uh, the external data provider. And then here you can see our constraint, which has the enforcement action denied. So we, we should uh, de deny the deployment if it is not signed. And then in here, you can see a test deployment, which is an unsigned image. Uh, this is like a, a pause image, which is not signed. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and deploy this. And we should see uh, our container should, should be uh, denied. And uh, like we mentioned, um, it did get de uh, declined because it does not contain a valid cosine signature. And then, so let's look at a, a signed image. So in this case, we are looking at the distro static uh, with uh, latest tag, and we're going to deploy that, and this should um, go ahead and be created. All right, so next, let's look at how we can use this feature to block vulnerabilities. Uh, here, as you can see, is a gatekeeper constraint template, which contains the rego that says, hey, for any containers, we want to uh, talk to the Trivi provider, uh, which provides us with vulnerability data, right? The Trivi um, does a lot of uh, scanning and returns the number of vulnerabilities and the high, low, or medium. And based on that, then uh, you know we in the in our policies we can decide if we want to deploy or block the vulnerability or not, or or maybe return a warning, right? So here uh, next we're going to deploy this constraint template, and um, and here uh, Gatekeeper will basically reach out to Trivi provider, um, and then here as you can see we have a constraint. Um, and the constraint says, okay, enforcement action is warned. So I don't actually want to block, but just give people a warning that they're deploying something uh, bad. And here, as you can see, is an example deployment that contains that may contain a vulnerability. Uh, and here we are using Alpine uh, as our e example image. Um, and as soon as I deploy this, let's see what Trivi returns. All right, and here, as you can see, it returns a warning. It's telling us, hey, uh, for this Alpine image, you have 30 vulnerabilities, but we're not actually going to block the deployment. All right, uh, next, um, let's see how it will work for a uh, an image that's not vulnerable, right? Um, here, as you can see, we're using uh, the static distrolist image. Um, let's see if, um, if we're right. Let's see if, see if Trivi identifies any vulnerability. All right, so it was true. Yeah. All right, next we have the AAD uh, use case, in, in which case, you know, a lot of companies, a lot of organizations want to identify owners of Kubernetes resources. Um, and here we are leveraging uh, mutating the mutation feature in Gatekeeper, which uh, as you can see here uh, it is a, custom resource called a sign metadata, which says, hey, for, um, you know, for config maps that I'm, I'm deploying, I want to provide a label called owner. And that data actually comes from a provider called AAD provider, right? Uh, and that data will then be mapped as, would then be used uh, as the owner label for the, these config map resources. So let's take a look at how that works. So we're going to apply uh, this assign metadata uh, resource. And then, uh, and then now, as you can see, we have a test config map. And once we apply it, let's see if it actually gives us the label. It looks like you are applying that with a specific user. Um... Yes. You're, and this is the user, the AAD user. All right. Let's take a look if the mutation is working. Yeah, it looks like I, the labels got mutated and that, that's my name. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> so it works, great. All right, that was a fun demo. I um, hope you enjoyed the 
demonstration of many, many use cases uh, that you can actually uh, start applying in your organization with Gatekeeper and the new external data feature. Um, we would love to get feedback and from, from the community. Um, so definitely uh, come give us feedback and open issues uh, in GitHub and Slack and join us in our weekly community call. Thank you. Thank you.